And welcome to the Let's Play of Cold Delka. This is part three, and I'm Thalaman23. And some of you knew that already. Hooray for stolen catchphrases. Anyway, uh, I should have worked out just a little bit of the bug on the recording equipment, and here we go. In this direction, I think. Um, yeah, I haven't made any progress since last time, and uh, I don't think I was going to. Uh, press X on everything. I guess I got to go back up. And I've got to find some other way around. Ah! Ghost child! Or worm! Or something. Kill it! Eh, oh well. Uh, wait. Action. Attack. Hooray! This is not the toughest enemy that I've ever actually had to face. And we can thank a scrapped recording for me knowing that. Anyway, uh, how have you all been? Uh, hope you guys have been doing well. Anyway, yeah, um, we're just going to keep going, trying to fi uh, figure out where everything is, where everything's supposed to go. And hopefully, I don't have to scrap another recording. Uh... Let's see. Yes, I already told you that I wasn't going to resort to a uh, fac or anything like that. Is that a door? No, nothing useful fac here. Okay. So, yes, this is completely blind, and I'm sorry if it's going to be a little bit boring, but... Uh, oh, hey, found another place to go. Here we go. Oh. That's the way I came in. Okay. This is what uh, not playing for just even a few seconds will do for uh, to do to you. Okay, another battle against roaches. Roach battle. Uh, I know, I know that was bad. <laughs> oh well, not a big deal. At least I haven't. Uh, done my Dan Green impression yet. Be thankful. Be very thankful. And I don't mean uh, Dan Green is in the actual Dan Green. I mean Dan Green. Little Karibos. Dan Green. <laughs> uh, move in front of Kodoka. Not like it really matters. Action. Weapon. I want you to take a knife instead of a pistol. And move over to here. Yes, switching to melee focus. Because melee does more damage. And I don't have to use as many uh, pistol rounds this way. Okay, let's see what else is in... Hey, level three! Not bad, not bad. Um, Your strength went up too. Raise your vitality too. All right, let's get going. Continue on this blundering quest of blunders. Okay, that's the only way to go. Where do I need to go? Oh, wait. Different area. Okay. Hello, what are you? Hammer. Yes, I will pick up the hammer. Might actually be useful. Is that another? No, it's a pipe. Yeah, I'll take the pipe too. Again, melee focus right now. Can I use the... Oh, 
earth hammer. Large steel hammer used by blacksmith, a bit un uh, unbalanced due to the heavy head and thin habit, all but a powerful weapon. Okay, I guess I'm going to equip. Going to equip you with the pipe and you with the hammer. Yes, yes, that is perfect. I'd say not. A little, little bit of lag. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary there. Nothing out of the ordinary there either. There's a man collapsed on the ground. It looks like he's passed out. Okay. As you try to move, the uh, giant plant attacks. Huh. I wonder. Is it weak to fire, you think? Action. Magic. Flare. Well, first, I probably want to move. Now. Magic. Flare. Um, okay. At least he didn't poison me. Oh, he did. That bastard. I want you to move over here. I want you to use action, magic, and flare. You are useless. You're going to rush the plant. And now they're both poisoned. Hooray! Okay, it's not weak to fire being a plant. This is unusual. Poison tornado that did nothing. Okay, move. One thing I can absolutely say for the boss fight right now has a kick-ass soundtrack. Since this thing uses poison, well, yeah, I'm going to need to be healing here soon. Uh, move closer to the plant. And, um, item, antidote on her. This way, she doesn't die. Hey, what a novel idea. Ha, huh, ha, huh, novel. Um, you can use flare again. It did damage. And poison tornado. Well, I can tell where my uh, the rest of my uh, time is going to be used in the game or in this episode. Okay, move. It wasn't a poison tornado; it's just a tornado. Huh? Action! Attack! Beat it with the hammer. Beat it with a hammer. Okay. Action, magic, heal. Yes, you are going to be the designated healer for now. Uh, move closer. Attack. Yes, it is not dead. But luckily, it's focusing on him and not Koldeka, meaning that she can be an effective healer. Okay. Yeah, I had to move her back.
gets two actions. Huh. And he's silenced anyway. Yes! Edward, you are being eaten by a plant, but you beat it. Literally. Who knew? Plants were immune to fire. Icon's necklace, and I learned the spell of geyser. Nice. But yeah, who knew that plants were immune to fire, but weak to a hammer to the face? Hmm, talk to this guy. Sure, nothing can go wrong here. You mean the plant? What'd it do? Um, no, that's actually legitimate. Um, he just asked who you were. You're the only one with manners. That's weird. James. Nice to meet you, James. Huh. Wait. Okay. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Uh, huh. Huh. Edward, shut up. This, uh... <sighs> well. Well. This is getting strange. Huh. Huh. Well, looks like we got a new party member. And that just about does it for this episode of Let's Play Koldelka with the monster gone, the fount which once uh, once again, or filled once again with holy water. And I can save. Hey, what do you know? Well, that about does it for again, this time on Let's Play Koldelka. And, uh, well, we got James, a new party member, and we found out a few things about the monastery, the evil monastery breeding monsters. I will recap in the next episode, so I will see you guys next time.